Hello, my name is Moni Castaneda with Feng Shui for Us. Today we are talking about how the nine steps to Feng Shui is different from the compass schools of Feng Shui. First we're going to talk about the difference between the Feng Shui magnetic compass and the Feng Shui compass of the heart. The magnetic compass was invented in China for Feng Shui purposes and used on land long before it was used in the ocean. It is used in Feng Shui to locate life areas in the Bagua map and make other relationships about the space and timing. The Feng Shui compass of the heart was first suggested in the West by Master Lin Yun of the Black Hat School of Feng Shui, but there is evidence of its prior use by other masters in Eastern Asia. For example, in some texts they talk about the far left corner of the home from the main door being the wealth corner and that is exactly where the wealth corner is when you use the Bagua map according to the compass of the heart which is used in Feng Shui by aligning the bottom of the Bagua map with the wall that contains the main entrance. These are some Feng Shui schools that use the compass of the heart. The Black Hat School of Feng Shui with Master Lin Yun at its head, the Western School of Feng Shui by Tara Catherine Collins, the Pyramid School of Feng Shui by Nancy Lee Widra, and, of course, my school, the Nine Steps to Feng Shui School. The Magnetic Compass Schools of Feng Shui assign the life areas according to the magnetic directions. In the Feng Shui compass, the needle pointed towards the south, so you will see in Feng Shui, usually the south will be placed to the top of the page and the north to the bottom of the page. They also calculate one numbers based on birth years to determine positive and negative directions. They assign the life areas according to the magnetic directions and this is based on the 8th Mansion School of Feng Shui which is the one that has given us the life areas in the Bagua map. And they also are based on the Pache system which is a personal compass based on 9 star key astrology. In the 9 steps to Feng Shui school we assign the life areas by using the compass of the heart lining up the bottom of the Bawa map with the wall that holds the main entrance. And we define positive and negative areas based on principles of yin and yang. Whereas the magnetic compass school uses the one numbers to determine positive and negative directions, in our school we define positive and negative areas based on principles of yin and yang. This is the Pache or personal system calculated for a male whose one number is 7. Now I am not going to go into in this video on how to calculate the one number. There's plenty of good resources that you can use for that if you are interested in this. But let me show you here that for this particular person they have determined that the northwest, the west, the southwest and the northeast are positive areas, longevity, vitality, life and good fortune and that the north, the east, the southeast and the south are negative areas, disaster, death, baleful influence and five ghosts. Now contrast that with how we in our system establish what are the positive and negative rooms in a home or business. Positive areas will be the rooms where active function is happening like the kitchen, the bedroom, the dining area and the family room, guest bedrooms, offices. Those are all positive areas and the negative areas would be the bathrooms, closets and storage areas. And this is because these areas being little used do not have a very active chi. The chi tends to get stagnant Yang, the positive, is related to sunshine, warmth, and dryness. And Yin, 
which would be the negative areas, is associated with humidity, darkness, and coldness. Now, this uh, Pache or personal compass system is meant to help people, was designed to help people have a balance in their life of the positive and the negative, which if you were born in a culture that was constantly stressing the yin and yang continuum and the relationships might make sense. But I disagree with the idea of dividing life in equal positive and negative aspects because the truth of life is that there is much more positive than negative. If they were equal, life would not have prevailed. You will see how this system of establishing positive and negative directions becomes really negative for the person as you superimpose it to another chart that is also based on magnetic compass. So here you can see that this uh, chart is superimposed over a floor plan and it is the exact same floor plan we had over here and we have tilted it to correspond with the way that the compass schools of feng shui assign the life areas to a floor plan. So the career would be to the north, fame would be to the south, children would be to the west, health and family to the east, wisdom to the northeast, travel and helpful people to the northwest, relationships would be in the southwest, and wealth would be in the southeast. So this assignment of the life areas never changes in the Compass School of Feng Shui. It's always related to the magnetic directions and where they are located. So now you can see where the problem comes. When a Feng Shui practitioner or consultant of the Compass School works with a client and they tell them, okay, because of your one number, these are really bad areas for you. There's two things that are going to happen, and we're going to use this one, disaster, as an example. First, you are telling the person that they are destined to face disaster in their career and that they were predisposed by birth to that. Second, you are telling them that their master bedroom is a really bad place for them. And so what happens, and what I have encountered when working with clients who had previously received the advice of a feng shui practitioner of the Compass School, is that they start becoming afraid of a particular room. Say, for example, this couple living in this, in this home might become really afraid of going to their bedroom. And uh, over time, they start neglecting the bedroom and the bedroom is likely to become more and more disorganized and end up being a junk room. Because of the stagnation produced by the clutter, they may have to experience disaster in their career and also to experience disaster in their relationship as a couple. But it is sort of a self-realized prophecy what happens here. Now contrast that with the way we apply the Bagua map based on the wall that contains the main entrance. So that the wealth corner would be at the back left and the marriage relationships and partnerships corner would be at the right on the back. And so of course here, you know, I have put the shades on the areas that are considered yin in my system because they are yin. They are bathrooms or storage areas where there is no active chi keeping the energy moving. And you could also say here that in this home, health, family, and community are going to be challenged and that children, creativity, and entertainment are going to be challenged. So what we do in my system is whenever you find that the exact corner or the exact midpoint of a life area is in a yin area, you project that life area outside of the yin area into a positive area to place your cures. So, for example, here, it would not be recommendable to enhance fame right here in the closet. But 
you can enhance fame right outside of this wall in the master bedroom. And in this case, it would not be recommended to enhance health, family, and community in the bathroom or in a storage area. So what you do is you project this midpoint and you place your cure for health, family, and community in the kitchen. It would also not be convenient to have children creativity and entertainment cures in a closet over here. So what you do is you project it over here to this other bedroom and you place your cures for children creativity and entertainment over here. So as you can see, in both systems you are going to deal with negative directions or negative rooms. But in our system, we empower people to deal with real situations. Whereas in the compass feng shui schools, people become obsessed with their negative directions, what room their negative directions occupy, and what life area is in the same position as the negative directions. So the magnetic compass schools of feng shui are astrology and numerology based and they can create fears in clients. They also claim to make predictions and are often perceived as geomancy or fortune telling. The nine steps to feng shui is biology based. Our system empowers clients and helps them design their future instead of us trying to make predictions about their future. And we consider feng shui as one of the five branches of traditional Chinese medicine, the other four being acupuncture, massage, qigong, and herbalism. In the magnetic compass schools of feng shui, there is an emphasis on balancing the five elements of the building with the element of the year when the person was born, mainly through color. In our nine steps to feng shui system, we consider the person's life as a whole when assessing the balance of the five element, as well as the major function of each room when recommending colors. In the magnetic compass schools of feng shui, consultants often suggest drastic changes like repainting the whole house or placing large boulders on the yard. Our consultants are trained in the Chinese principle of very little and they know how to make small changes in order to produce long-term positive results that are integrated by clients with ease and grace. The magnetic compass schools of feng shui make complex mathematical calculation, again, based on astrology and numerology. And consultants tend to give similar advice to all clients because of this reason. So all clients that have the same one number would receive pretty much the same advice. And they rely heavily on traditional Chinese feng shui cures such as like the three-legged frog or the feng shui cat or the food dogs. The nine steps to feng shui school assesses the health of the building and people's lives based on the nine principles of traditional Chinese medicine. Our advice is customized to the needs of each client and we create cures that respond to the client's worldview and design taste. These are some of the influences for the Nine Steps to Feng Shui School. The Form School of Feng Shui, which guides outdoors Feng Shui and furniture placement. The eight mansion schools used with the compass of the heart instead of the magnetic compass. This is the school that has given us the life areas and the basic principles of traditional Chinese medicine. Those are the influences, the main influences for our school. These are other videos that I suggest that you watch. One of them is how to find the free Bawa map on my website. We have a Bawa map that you can download for free. And we also have a professional Bawa map that is very conveniently priced for you to buy. We also suggest that you watch how to apply the Bawa map to a floor plan. Why we line up the bottom of the Bawa map with the main entrance. This is a fascinating video 
that will show you how there is a relationship between the celestial animals of the form school and the Bawa map and the human body and the internal organs. We also suggest that you watch how to select the main door because we place the Bawa map by aligning the bottom of the map with the wall that contains the main door. So you need to know how to determine which is your main door. One of the most common questions that people ask us is should they include the garage in the Bawa map? And the answer is sometimes yes, sometimes no. So watch this video to find out when you do and when you don't. And I also suggest that you watch our free video course, the Introduction to Feng Shui. Uh, course starts with the definitions video, but there are several other videos to watch. Let me introduce you to the Feng Shui Kitty who solemnly swears she is up to no good. Feng Shui Kitty is a cat that gives very bad Feng Shui advice to her quote-unquote next-door neighbor little pup who shares the same owners quote-unquote as Feng Shui Kitty. So this is a very funny way to learn Feng Shui but remember that Feng Shui Kitty gives little pup reverse Feng Shui advice so do not follow Feng Shui Kitty's advice. Uh, you can find the icon for Feng Shui Kitty on pretty much any page of my website. Check it out, it's pretty funny. And um, of course, Little Pup has an ace under the sleeve or an ace under the paw, and that is the book Feng Shui Your Own Home. If you go to Amazon, you can click on the link to look inside so you can take a peek at the book. This book was designed so any person with little or even no knowledge of Feng Shui can follow a key of questions and answers in order to Feng Shui their own home like a pro. Thank you for watching.